Good evening, Dr. Reshma. Today, I am Dr. Sumit Mir, the Marrow SS Hematology faculty, who is going to interview Dr. Reshma Benson, uh, a remarkable achievement in the INI entrance exam this year. She is AIMS Common Merit List 4 and AIMS Merit List 4 and the Common Merit List 9, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So, welcome, Dr. Reshma, to the forum. Uh, Thank you, sir. So, first of all, right. first of all, I would like to ask, can you please introduce yourself? Where did you did your UG from, your post graduation from, and then? Uh, firstly, I want to thank the Maru team for helping me, whatever I am today. Uh, and uh, to introduce myself, I did my UG from Madras Medical College, Chennai. Uh, then I pursued my MD in general medicine from Government Medical College, Trivandrum. Uh, following which, I did uh, senior residency for six months in my uh, Trivandrum Medical College. And then I prepared for uh, INICT and NEETS. So, in, in which batch of MBBS and MD you were uh, you were there? Sir, I did my MBBS in 2011 batch. MD, it was 2018 batch. Right. And one thing which I always wanted to ask my junior students, why did you choose clinical hematology? Some people say that it is a lot of lab-oriented subject, not much interventions. What made you choose clinical hematology? I really do not think that we do not have any interventions. We have bone marrow transplant as the biggest intervention. <laughs> According to me, it is the only transplant which can be done by a physician. So I think uh, so, hemat is really challenging, sir. Um, in the way that uh, uh, we have a hematology department in our college in Trivandrum, um, we have, do not have transplant as such, but we provide whatever services we can. But at the same time, we are not able to provide transplant and um, higher immunotherapy or anything like that. So if we have seen so many patients succumb, some of the patients succumb. Uh, to learn more about transplant as well as uh, uh, recent therapy, uh, therapy available, uh, to know that uh, it is available and we can do that only if more people come forward, you can actually do that in the state. I find Hamet interesting. I find found Hamet interesting only while I was preparing for uh, my MD exams. Actually, only in the final year I was channeled towards hematology. Uh, then I thought I'll try giving it a shot, and I am here today. One of my seniors is to tell the best combination of immunology, laboratory medicine, and clinical yes. medicine is is clinical hematology. So if you can realize that, then probably you reach the apex of the field. So uh, many times, money while preparing for super speciality or what you say sub speciality, you start preparation during your MD days. So I wanted yes. to ask, what preparation did you do with respect to hematology during your MD days, or you were not that much oriented for hematology during your MD days? Sir, I did not prepare anything as such for any subject in super speciality during my MD. During my MD, it was just Harrison. Even for my MD exam, it was just Harrison based. It was during my senior residency that I found some time to hear Marrow videos, starting from Rakesh sir's videos and reaching your videos slowly. Uh, I used to make notes. And once I completed my SRship only, I actually um, tried to spend some time properly sit down and read, read, learn the subject and uh, prepare properly, sir. Do MCQs and uh, do, do it properly. So can you tell the, the students what was the strategy when you actually started reading for, for clinical hematology. How did it go about it? Uh, as I told you, so my base was always Harrison. So it is always building upon that. Whatever you know, uh, notes you get, you hear uh, the classes and you write notes. And I I always like to, uh, you know, merge everything into one single notebook and read. So that, and then uh, plan accordingly, uh, revise at least three times. And also do as many MCQs, MCQs as you can from wherever you get. I used to, you have this Harrison's review on Hammett and Ong. I used to do all those questions. Not that questions will be directly asked from that. But, you know, you get the idea as to what, what is the subject, how to approach a subject. And you can even uh, at least rule out an, uh, the other options to reach an answer. You will know what is asked. Uh, I think it's important to know what is in the question rather than know directly what is the answer. In INISS, it is mostly like that only. Some questions will be factual. Some questions will be you have to think and analyze and answer. Uh, and also, um, regarding this, uh, many people ask, uh, how did you uh, approach the super specialty textbooks? I actually did not go through any super specialty textbooks. 
only thing i did was i went through the images all the reference images whichever i could find that actually helps you know it imprints in your mind and it helps you to attempt the questions in inas as well as neat that was the only thing i did regarding williams and hoffman sir otherwise it was so, purely hands based with respect to images any specific source with which you through which you went to the images i went through williams and hoffman sir and also american society of hematology you have the reference in images in the image bank so if you have no you can just yeah yeah she made it back that was very helpful sir even before the interview also and uh, after passing the theory there was your guidance class which was actually very 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 helpful i was really tense before the interview but uh, your class gave us the idea as to what is going to happen what is to be expected and that was actually the exact format i did not have anything unexpected during the interview uh, it was all just like introduction and uh, Image based questions and why do you want to choose exactly the same way? Actually, you taught us. Right. So during during our time, there used to be this offline uh, exam wherein they used to grill us with all sort of stations. <laughs> uh, fortunately, in online, you have it's a more simpler version. Yes. Hopefully, if this continues to be the same version next year also, then what I feel or what I predict is. you don't need to study so much for the the step 2 it's basically the step 1 and the step 2 is more or less will be a cake yes. walk if you're doing your yes. studied by yes. for the step 1 yes right. i think uh, during the interview they are asking what, uh, like not core hematology questions they will ask only uh, as a physician what you should know in hematology that is what they ask regarding febrile neutropenia or whatever you have seen is what they assess i think not hardcore hematology hardcore hematology is more in the first part stage 1 i think right so with respect to marrow videos when did you start seeing them and how many hours per day more or less you were able to give to the videos uh sir uh, as i told you i started watching marrow videos only after my md exam that was in december so uh, during my senior residency i did not get much time so whatever time you, i used to get i used to watch like one hour one hour one hour i used to make notes that's it uh your class actually i binge watched for four days continuously for four days and i was able to finish because i got the time i was not working and following which after watching the videos and when i started to learn only i uh, tried practicing mcqs sir so i i will not be able to provide like this this many hours per day for marrow videos it was always uh, scattered bits and patches so it was over a course of from december till november in the exam roughly a course of 10 months right yes 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 okay and for mcq preparation any specific source where any you went to the mcqs any website any specific book or something some specific source um marrow mcqs are more than enough sir i feel and uh, you have this harrison's hematology review Uh, that you can go through not many questions but again it gives you an idea it has so many images that is what i find interesting uh, so many images image based questions case based scenarios there is no factual question in that that actually helps a lot uh, i think that's it sir the more the more test you give do not worry about the results my uh, ranks were not not at all good in any of the maro tests that i attempted my ranks uh, were actually very bad but um, you know you know, it's it's up to you to learn not not to get discouraged and just learn you have this bookmarking option so you can bookmark all the mistakes that you have and then go through during the last one week just revise right practice makes a man perfect yeah, the yes. more you practice the more you'll get right in the final exam yes so uh, in the final exam i think there are 80 questions of which roughly 50 to 55 are from core hematology and the remaining from medicine right So, how many did you attempt in your final exam? The third of course, first attempted, first step. Uh, I attempted seventy-five questions, sir. So, almost ninety-five percent of the questions. Yes. And how? What do you think was the caliber or the quality or the level of difficulty of the questions from medicine, which which came in the INISS? Medicine questions were not that very difficult, sir, compared to hematology questions. Uh, I'm not sure how many questions I got right or where did I go wrong. I'm not very sure. but i uh, almost knew all of the questions from medicine uh, i have at least heard of it and i i knew the answers i found hematology more challenging in the question paper sir right for for hematology which which was was more challenging you feel the marrow videos are sufficient for for to cover hematology and you don't need to read as of now any 
core hematology textbooks as people used to believe in the previous era? Uh, sir, uh, whatever you preparation you do, you have uh, the set of very difficult questions that they are going to uh, set. So it's up to you to read as much as you can. If you get ample time to read core hematology textbooks, then do it. It's it's uh, it's of no harm. You can do it. But uh, I was able to do it even without doing that. So that means marrow areas are ample enough. Right. You want to give any tips or suggestions to your fellow juniors who want to enter this field of <laughs> clinical hematology? I think uh, prepare for your MD exam well uh, and uh, start learning as early as possible. Even during your MD days, you can, if you have decided that you are going to take up hematology, then start reading hematology as early as possible. Revise as many times as you can. I think that will help. Right. Uh, from, for Maro as a forum or as a as a platform for SS, you have any suggestions because it's it's in the infantile stage and marrow has done very well for the super speciality as such. Uh, I I would like to disagree, sir. Marrow is actually very good for SS. Uh, it's good. I don't I don't think there is any any point to correct. Uh, the videos are actually really good. Uh, the recently added question bank is also actually good. Uh, it's not yet complete, I see, but uh, it, I find it really. Uh, you know, uh, helpful. Once you read a topic, uh, you can just go go through that 40 questions that you have in that single topic and you can learn more. As I told, you know, the more MCQs you crack, the better. Right. And lastly, which college or which institute do you intend to join once that now that you know that you amongst the good ranks? I said, I think I will be uh, uh, I will be able to get uh, Ames Rishikesh, sir. Right. If possible, Ames Delhi, but uh, I don't think that is possible. But probably I'll get the Ames Rishikesh. Okay. And this was your which attempt for the INISS for, for hematology? Second. Second, Second attempt. I did one attempt in May during my senior residency. I did not uh, qualify. Right. Okay. Excellent. Uh, excellent. So nice to see your achievements. Mm -hmm. Finally, the hard work has succeeded. So many hours of midnight oil burnt. Finally, it is coming to glory. I, I can understand it's a sigh of relief for everyone. And yes. I, I can only advise one thing that uh, clinical hematology is a very interesting field, taxing field at times because you have to deal with uterogenic patients and susceptible patients. But uh, the fact when you see those sick patients of especially say, acute promyelostatic leukemia coming out, they going home, getting discharged, coming back a few years later in hale and hearty condition, that joy is unparalleled. So just enjoy your field. It's a hard working field. And the more you work hard for your patients, the more rewards you'll get. That's it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll meet yes. sometime soon in some of the other <laughs> conferences from where we are. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.